Hi guys! Yay, back again! More magazines! Um, I did have a couple of you guys respond and say that you appreciated the reviews, so figured I'd do a little bit more. Um, this is not to be confused with the previous video where I'm wearing the exact same shirt. I promise, I'm not homeless, and I do have a wardrobe. <laughs> I just, this is the comfiest sweatshirt that I am, so I just, I catch myself throwing it on all the time. So, I promise. I bathe and I change my clothes on a daily basis. I promise. So, before we waste any more time, let's get into it. So, today I've got the Cross Stitch and Needlework November 2014 issue. Oh, sorry. Try not to throw it. Oh, look, it's got my little, um, it's got my thread organizer in there from Retromantic Fripperies. Let's see, what is there? It's retromanticfripperies.com is their website. Oh, and it's got so much to love in here, too. If you guys have seen um, Katie's review video, Stash Queen, Katie's Stash Queen, she does a review video on them, which is too funny because I just ordered one of their bags. I've never heard of them before, but I have a, a friend whose birthday is coming up, like I told you guys about in the last couple videos where I showed you guys the bags that I got. Um, her birthday is coming up, so I placed an order with so much to love on Etsy and um, for her, secretly, I may end up keeping it for myself though. The only reason I say that is because my friend crochets, which I also crochet, but she does not cross stitch. And these bags look like they're more made for, they're like project bags. But anybody out there who crochets or knits, you know that you're not going to be fitting skeins of yarn in these bags. They're not big enough. So we'll see. And when it comes in and I see how big it is, then I'll decide on whether I'm going to keep it or not. So the first one we have is called Welcoming Sunflower. The Mary Sanderson Sampler. Patchwork Trees. See how many we get in tonight if it's more than yesterday. I didn't count them, I should have. Harvest Banner. Yeah. 3D Floral. These are kind of cool if you guys can see that. See how like the um, panel, a couple panels of the flower is like 3D? Duh, 3D Floral. Kind of cool. All right, and this is October, November. Doesn't really give a name, just says October, November. Those are kind of cute. I like the November one, which is weird because you know me. I would normally be saying I like the October one, which I do, but I think I might like the November one better. Autumn Elegance. <clears throat> Excuse my sniffling. I don't know if this is allergies or I'm getting sick. I hope I'm not getting sick. Um, falling leaves, hat, and scarf. This I really like. This is called the Autumn Band Sampler. Look at that. How cute is that? Almost looks like a Victoria sampler pattern. called Give Thanks. Viva La France, or France, however you want to say that. Paris is always a good idea. If I like to get on planes, I would agree. Um, this one's called 
funky cats. Filigree apron. These are three little or ornaments wow, by Barbara Anna. It's called Classic Christmas Charm. And they just number them on the pattern. And I have the whole set. I think there's three per issue. I think there's 12 all together. I think that might be it for this. Yep, so there's one down. This one is Cross Stitch and Needlework. Um, spring 2015 issue. I love this front cover pattern. How cute is that? So cute. Do, 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 do. Tudor roses. Lily's Wedding Sampler it says, Grow old with me, the best is yet to be. Um, this is a floral heart. And it's got little tutorials on stitching on felt. anybody's ever wanted to stitch on felt. It looks really pretty. Here's the front cover pattern. Oh, I love that. Garden ladies, the queen bee and the ladybug. I'm not leaning up against this ugly, this is my husband's couch from his apartment. When I moved, I gave a lot of my furniture away to family and friends, so I miss them now. <laughs> I had a really pretty brown corduroy sofa and a big like chair and a half. Oh, I miss them. They were so, so comfy. I slept on there quite a bit. I had a Perfectly good queen size bed that I absolutely loved, but I fell asleep on my couch a lot. <laughs> this is Tulip Cottage. Very cute. Cross Stitch and Needlework is another one of my favorite magazines. I find a lot in there too. Them and Cross Stitcher are probably my favorite. This is the Spring Banner. I showed you guys in the last video the Summer Banner from this year. This is the spring banner from last year. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. Spring banner from this year. See, this is what I mean by my stuff is not in order. Spring tweets. <clears throat> this is really nice. Everybody who likes black work, this is called Tamara. How pretty is that? I've never done black work other than like, I mean, it's backstitching, right? It's the same thing, right? So I guess if you can do backstitching, then you can do black work. Cottage needle roll. I just started getting stuffy, I swear. Before I started this video, I was not stuffy. I've not been stuffy all day. Spring bouquet. And there's a moth in here. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't know where it went. Gotta love bugs, right? The next one is an Irish blessing. It says, may you always walk in sunshine. May you never want for more. May Irish angels rest their wings right beside your door. 
surface. I believe my heritage is Irish and Scottish. My last name is Scottish. Well, my maiden last name is Scottish. My last name now is Italian, but I am not Italian. Ate enough Italian food to be Italian, but <laughs> I'm not. This is called Mary Apron. I think we might have hit the end of this one. Yep. Two down. This is Cross Stitcher February 2015 issue. I know a lot of us have seen that cover pattern before. It's very cute. This one came with a kit. It was the uh, the Owl Scissor Case and Keeper. Cute. Cross Stitchers come with kits normally or some kind of little free gift. Little birdies. J'adore Paris, I guess this is called. Yeah. So there's the Paris pattern. Beautiful. I've seen a couple people do this one on Facebook. And this is called, I guess it's part of J'adore Paris. A little mug wrap thing. And here's a little cutie fob. The Eiffel Tower. Love what you do. So in love, I believe. Yeah, so in love. Retro wheels. Um, Robo pals. Robots don't seem to be very big anymore. Like with kids, they're not. Pocket pandas. Locked on you, I guess. Yeah, locked on you. <clears throat> Says, you hold the key to my heart. Everlasting love, soulmate, best friend, best friend forever together. There we go. It's a little hard to read. Gray on gray. This is too cute. I love this. This is called Love Story. Let me shut this back up. Can you see that okay? How cute is that? How cute is that? I love that. It's got a lot of my wedding colors in there, so I did um, mint, blush, and gray for my wedding colors. In a prickle. Animal antics. In my heart. Just little cards. Valentine's cards, it says. Um, what is this? <clears throat> These are just little miniature designs. I can't show you all of them because of some patterns, but looks like you've got a queen right there. This is a British magazine, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> this is more like sewing embroidery kind of stuff, which is cool that they give you more options. I mean, the magazine is called Cross Stitcher Magazine, but they show you how to do other things, you know, so you can kind of branch out. Cross stitching is the gateway drug. <laughs> Oh, and I meant to say, in my last video, I don't know if anybody else caught it, when I was talking about the poison control coasters, I said crochet. Did you catch that? I meant cross stitch. I'm getting my crafts all mixed up. I guess that means I do one too many of them, right? So that was all in that one. This one is cross stitch crazy. And again, we don't have the month or anything in here. Oh wait, October 2014. Cross Stitch Crazy. Cross Stitch Crazy is another one I like. This is the little free kit that came with it. Which, if you guys um, remember my little pocket watch thread keep, those are the threads that are in it for that bookmark. This is called Oriental Beauty. Stitching Nirvana. <laughs> All right, Kurt Cobain. Oh, get some of you Magic Mike fans out there with this. That's their celebrity. Celeb stitch is what they call it. Channing Tatum. So if you ever wanted to cross stitch Channing Tatum, October 2014 issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. <laughs> Here's just a bunch of little miniature Halloween cross stitch. Forest Friends. Um, there's little like 50s rock and roll miniatures. They're the pattern, sorry guys. Um, they have little alphabet ones. You can make them with beads. They got the whole alphabet. Flower Burst. Harvest Time. Little triangles. Those have a name. What are they? Um, I don't know. They just call them humbugs. They call them hanging humbugs. Huh. I did not know that. Lunchtime. You guys can see that right. You just heard that big sigh. My four legged child is laying over here again. Her name's Laika, by the way. She's my fur baby. She's my only baby. I'm perfectly okay with that. Okay, this is called National Treasure. And it looks like just little women from different areas of the world. We might be done. Oh wait, no, I've got some more marks back here. Oh, these are little, um, again, can't show you because they're the pattern. Ugh. Yep, so that's it for us on that one. 
This is the Cross Stitcher April 2015 issue. Look at that, we're halfway through our time limit already. Uh, this is the free kit that came with this one. It's called the Country Cottage Key Ring Kit. The kits are so cute. They're little miniature kits. These are little, it's called on the button. So it's like needle minders on your necklace. All dolled up. This was cute. It's an iPad cover. It's called Take Cover. How cute is that? That's so cute. It gives you all the um, the finishing instructions and stuff for the projects that they make as well. That's too cute. I'm not brave enough to try this stuff though. I don't know. I'm a loser. I'm a loser, guys. Okay, this one is the Cozy Club. If you ever wanted to make cozies for your eggs, here you go. Is anybody else afraid to try finishes, like an, a, a true FFO instead of just a finish? Because I do not have any true FFOs. None. I have a lot of finishes, no FFOs. 60s style. Sorry, I hope there wasn't a huge glare on that. Oh, that's cute. Hopping Mad is what this is called. Look at the little dress. Perfect cozy. Just my cup of tea. Can you tell it's a British magazine? <laughs> they like their tea, that's for sure. This is cute. Home for tea. It looks like a tea bag. I don't really think, well, that's a tea bag tag, but it looks like a tea bag. Cute. Kapow. Stitch and go. Easter Parade, a bunch of cards. On the Edge. Cute. Um shows you how to decorate and make little frames. That's their little craft project in this one. And I think that's it. Yep. All right, now we're switching to just cross stitch. Um, I don't know what issue this is. It does not want to tell me. I think it might be underneath this lady's address. But this is what it looks like. Sorry, guys. Ah, this lady's in Long Branch. I know where that is. All right. <clears throat> um, even though I can't tell you guys which one this is, maybe it'll tell me here. May, June 2004. 
That's which one it is. Mother's miniature keepsake. You can tell it's a little bit more than. Excuse me. Ugh, I'm telling you guys, I really hope I'm not getting sick. Wildflower sewing basket. Little Love. This looks like it's like Gloria and Pat. I'm not a huge Gloria and Pat fan. I never got into that Precious Moments stuff. I had a best friend growing up whose grandmother got her a Precious Moment figurine every year on her birthday. Ta-da! Is that a pattern? Huh. Hang on a second. Sorry, you guys. Ye old Coffee House is in this one by Little House Needleworks. Is this Little House or Country Cottage? Mm, little House, yep. Yeah. It's kind of cool how you find, um, I found like uh, the Primitive Hair has some that you'll, that sh oh my gosh. Let me explain what it is that I'm talking about first <laughs> so you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, in some magazines, you'll find some patterns for, not for free because you're paying for the magazine, but um, for free in the magazine of patterns that you would buy online. The Primitive Hair, I've seen a lot of hers in some magazines, but I've also seen the patterns for sale in her Etsy shop or 123 Stitch. You guys, I'm sure, have all seen Ye Old Coffee Shop um, on like 123 Stitch, ABC Stitch. So it's kind of cool how you can find those sometimes in um, magazines. There we go. The home we first knew. Um, the home we first knew on this beautiful earth. The friends of our childhood. The place of our birth. In the heart's inner chamber, song always will be as the shell sings of its home in the sea. Family Memories album. I need to take a better look at this magazine. I only have three patterns marked in here. Wedding herbs. I didn't know you got herbs on your wedding. Must be some kind of old tradition. Designed by Marie Barber. I send, I'm in a round robin with a, is her last name Barber? That can't be right, can it? Is she a designer? Marie Barber? I'll have to double check her last name, but I think it might be Barber. Anyway, that's who I send my round robin projects off to. Oh, that's pretty cool if that's the same lady. Anyway, this is called Classic Doors. interested now. I want to look up her name. Sorry guys, give me two seconds. Two seconds. I've got it right here on my phone. I just want to see really quick what her name is. Come on, don't make me want to be a liar. Where are you? Did I pass you? Probably. Yes, I did. Yep, right there. Marie Bungard. Close. I was going to say, there's no way. I'm sending mine off to a designer. Alright, back to what we were talking about. Bookmarks for summer. This is cute. It's called the Spring Sampler. Mini Spanish Cottages 6. How 
out for a walk purse. Interesting. I think that might be us. Might be it for this one. Yep. All right. This is Cross Stitch Crazy June fifteenth, June twenty fifteen issue. The little flapper girl on the front is cute. Um, this was the free kit that came with this one. It's called the Mar Margaret Sherry Bunny Card Kit. This, the flapper lady, is called Classic Beauty. She's a Joan Elliott. Probably one of the few Joan Elliott's that I like. I know, I'm sorry. Don't hate me, guys. I'm not a huge Joan Elliott fan. Fingers. I can't lift my fingers to turn the pages. That would be weird. Um, Tom Hiddleston is the celeb stitch in this one. Mm, there's little vintage travel motifs, little miniature ones. frame or not. Sorry, I apologize. Previous ones were not in frame. Life is sweet. They're little Father's Day cards. more little tea miniature motifs but they're all patterns so I can't show them unfortunately. This is called Flutter and Fly. Um, this is called All Aboard. It's they're little pencil cases, but they're made to look like gypsy wagons. They're cute. <clears throat> um, this is called Roar Talent. Looks like it's just like a dinosaur alphabet. Theo, that's a name you don't hear very often. Uh, heart to heart. All black work hearts. Join the circus. Called Enjoy Cross Stitch. It's the 2015 issue. Um, this was the free gift. It came with um, cards and fabric and floss and little finishing ribbons and felt. Um, so you can make these little cards. Anyway, this is the free stuff that came with the with this issue. So that's all the finishing stuff. And here's the little cards you could make. Here's some more. Those are really cute. 
This is really pretty. It's called Blooming Lovely. It's a little cottage. Anemone to Zinnia. It's the floral alphabet. Um, then there's all these little motifs. I'm not sure if you guys can see those very well. Glorious gardens. I can't tell where the glare is. I can't tell where the shadow is. Trying not to be all up in the frame of the picture. This is another pretty one. It's called Country Charm. I made that into a pillow. It's really cute. Floral Fancy. birds and the bees. Oh, there we go. House to home. It's a bunch of little cards. Oh, that's in frame. called Cute Cottage. I think that might be it. Yep. Alright, 37 minutes. This is the World of Cross Stitching number 226. Maybe it'll tell us on the inside which issue this is. No. 226, that's all it says. Before I subscribed, I got all my uh, issues at Joann's. She carry, they carry, the one here carries a pretty good um, selection. This is the free gift in this one. It's a little floral sachet. This is called Make a Splash. With all my heart. Garden of Delights. Sparkle and Shine. Pet of the Month. A little Siamese cat, it looks like. Yep, Siamese. Sweet Treats. bunch of little motifs. Wow, it's like four pages full. Dreams can come true. It says be the change you wish to be. A house in the sun. Artist at work. It's just the whole alphabet. 
field of dreams. It's really pretty. Oops. If the shoe fits. That one, we're at 40 minutes. I'm gonna try and squeeze in one more. Okay, this is Cross Stitch Crazy, April 2015 issue. This was the free gift um, that came with this one. Little floral bobbins, and it came with the yarn on them. Uh, this is called Spring Fever. Fifty birthday gift ideas. Just little motifs. Vintage Blooms. I think this is what you're supposed to use that yarn or yarn floss on that came as your free gift. Bunny Tails. All of a flutter. Like a little bird alphabet. Trying to make this under 45 minutes. Dinner's ready. Easter treats. Tons of fun. Looks like those little humbug things again, but these ones are chickens, which is kind of cute. Shows you how to make the humbug. Stitch O'Clock. I think that's it. Yes, it is. So we're at 43 minutes. I think we did pretty good. I'm not sure if we did more than yesterday or not, but either way, pretty good amount in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I still have tons more magazines to review. Um, please put your comments in on whether you would like to continue to see more videos like this or if you would rather not see more videos like this. Again, I appreciate all you guys' likes and subscribes and your comments. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Until I see you next time.